Good morning and welcome back. Today we're going to check out Marucci and how they do on their custom bats. So this bat right here I ordered for my son. Uh, he's a uh, 11 years old and he has been wanting very badly a really nice wooden bat. And you know when you go out and you kind of see the, the bat selections that they have at like Dick's and Shields and all that kind of stuff like they were cool but uh, I don't know this is gonna be a Christmas gift for him and I kind of wanted it to be a little bit special so I went, up, uh, went to Marucci's website I believe it's MarucciSports.com and got on there onto their bat customizer actually when I first went on there I didn't know that they had a bat customizer I was just looking to see what kind of bats they have different colors sizes shapes you know whatever but I uh, found out that they have a bat customizer, and so I started playing around on it. And so it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like um, if you've ever been car shopping and you go to, I don't know, Ford or Toyota or what, any of the, any car manufacturer, basically, they have like the build your own. It's basically like that, but for baseball bats. So it's actually really cool, and there's tons of options um, as far as finishes, different uh, bat models themselves, uh, but yeah, finishes, all, all kinds of stuff. It's really, really cool. So um, if you're interested in it, I, I'll tell you right now, I do suggest it because I think this bat really, really turned out nice. So a little bit about this bat itself. Um, I do have, my son's first name is Troy, but I didn't feel like uh, putting his last name up there on the on the internet, so I uh, covered that up. But this bat specifically is the CB15 Pro model. And so this specific bat I chose because it has the large barrel diameter and also it's uh, end loaded. So my son, he's kind of a, he's a little bit on the thick side. He's a big kid and he's already been hitting uh, home runs. And so he's kind of a power hitter. And so I wanted uh, him to have a nice, uh, end weighted bat. So just to kind of help that power hitting flavor that he's got out a little bit. And before I go any further, I would like to note that, so he does play travel ball. As far as I know, um, where we play and in the league that he's in, wooden bats are not allowed. And I assume that it's so if they're, if a bat splinters, you know, you don't get a barrel flying out towards the pitcher and hitting them or anything like that. So um, this bat is actually not able to be used in tournament play. So I, I bought this more for um, just something nice for him to have, a collectible thing for him to have, something special that has his name on it. Um, but also, he, you know, he'd be able to take it to the batting cages and all that kind of stuff, like in the offseason. Uh, you know, I was kind of thinking that, you know, the weight of a nice heavier wooden bat, if he can go into the cages and learn to swing a big heavy bat and get good bat speed on there. When he goes to pick up his aluminum bat again, that bat's going to be singing, you know? So that was kind of my thought process, but mostly it was just to have him give him something, something nice. He's been wanting it. So I'm a sucker for him. So what can I say? So anyways, um, again, this is the CB 15 custom pro. This bat, uh, does have the, like I said, the large barrel and it is end loaded. So it's a little heavier. Um, the balance point, uh, yeah, it's, it's like way out here. So right about here is the balance point. So somewhere in there. Um, anyways, so this bat on the Marucci site, if you do go in and do a customized one, this bat starts at $180, which isn't cheap, but at the same time, you know, if you go and, I mean, hell, there's aluminum bats that, you know, your big sports retailers that are at, at least that expensive, very easily that expensive. So, I mean, if you're, you know, go going to spend the money on a nice bat, you're going to pay some money. So it starts at 180 bucks. Um, and as far as the choices of, of colors that I went with, uh, here, I'll get some of the handle down here. Look at that. Um, so the handle finish that I went, so you can get this down here, any color of paint that you want, you know, just like this, there's, there's tons and tons and tons of colors. You can have it just one color. If you want, you can mix and match however you want. You can do whatever you want. It's really cool. But down here on the, uh, on the handle, this is their Inferno finish. And so from what I understand, 
Um, basically, when this bat is on the lathe and they're turning it, they just depress something on here and it just heats up the wood and it kind of almost very gently burns it. And that's how you get these rings in it. As it's spinning on the lathe, you just kind of depress something onto there. And uh, that's how you get the, the darker coloration in there. But I think it turned out really, really, really nice. Oh, another thing too, I don't know if, if you do go order a custom bat, this does have the ink dot. So um, anyways, uh, but the, uh, the barrel up here, this is Laxton Cherry. Look at that. That's just such a sweet color. So I don't know. I thought, uh, actually my wife ended up picking the final colors on it because, uh, I was super indecisive and honestly, the ones that I had made were a little bit ugly. So she kind of gave the, the final, uh, final word on the color of the barrel up there. And I, I couldn't agree more with her. I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Turned out really, really, really nice. So, um, also another they do have some options. I think you might have to pay like, a, I don't know, like five bucks more for different uh, different colors or different finishes or something like that. But most of them are uh, basically, they're all the same, basically free, I guess. They, you don't have to pay extra for most of them. But one thing I did pay extra for is, it's called the Pro X Finish. So it's basically uh, just a very hard um, coating, clear coat that goes on here and it helps they claim it helps uh, with the deformation, uh, you know, basically getting dents um, from from hitting the ball. So, you know, if you get a weird hit down right in here, kind of on the taper down or something like that, and uh, it'll help uh, allegedly protect it from getting indented. So, um, but I do think now I'm not sure. So, if you go to, um you know, like a Dick's or any of the sporting goods stores or whatever, and you see Marucci bats. So when I was there in the last time that we were looking, you can see, okay, so this and this right here are stickers, okay? And you also get to uh, choose what color stickers you have. So my boy, he likes a little bit of flair. So we got him the, I believe it's called the diamond finish. So sparkly, a little bit, little little pop to it. Anyways, the bats that are on the on the rack on the shelf in Dick Sporting Goods that are Marucci and a lot of other brands too, these stickers right here are not underneath a clear coat in store. So I don't know if by me ordering the Pro X finish, which is twenty five dollars, I don't know if that is the coating that goes over here, or if I did not order that, if these would not be underneath the clear coat. So the problem that I had with some of the ones in the stores were this is just like a, a thin strip right here. And you could underneath the, at the store, you could come and like get your fingernail underneath the, the corner of that. Or you could come and get the your fingernail underneath the corner of the sticker here and like start to peel it off like in the store. So I just feel like the stickers, you know, I don't think it's exclusive to Marucci, but I wanted to make sure that, well, I... I wasn't really sure if it was going to be, if the sticker was going to be on top of the clear coat or if the sticker was going to be underneath the clear coat, but I'm happy to report that the stickers are underneath the clear coat. So they're, they're, <laughs> that's where they're going to stay. So, and another thing too, in store, I noticed that, uh, these stickers here, they didn't really line up all that well. Like somebody, you know, the ones I saw, maybe it was <laughs> like Friday afternoon when they were making those bats, but these stickers kind of like came up a little bit wonky like this. I mean, that's pretty dramatic, but they weren't quite lined up. These stickers are perfectly lined up. And this sticker is perfectly in line with the engraving that's up here. So, so far, I mean, like this, I'm really, really impressed how this thing turned out. Um, let's see. So also you can have, you can choose all kinds of different sizes and weights for the bat. So uh, this one, I got him a 33 and a half. So it's a little bit big for him right now, but I kind of wanted him to grow into it or, you know, and when he gets a little older, he, it'll be something that he can use when he is older. Um, but anyways, the bat ranges, they go from 31 inches all the way up to 34.5. So quite a big spread of, of bat length. And then as far as the weight, you can go from a drop four all the way to a plus two. So negative four to a plus two. So I got him um, 
uh, drop two, a minus two on this bat. And it seems to be, it's a touch, yeah, I don't know, it's maybe a touch heavier than what I thought it would be, but it, it, it feels really good. So, um, now another thing, um, as far as the, the wood used in this, this is a maple bat. And as far as I could tell, all of the wood bats on the Marucci website are maple bats. So I, from what I am assuming, I, I used to be in the tree business and, uh, uh, there's a thing out there called Emerald Ash Borer and EAB, these, these little nasty little beetles. And they come in and they get underneath the bark of all the ash trees and they completely just devastate ash trees. And it's pretty much nationwide. And these, man, they, they just kill. They can kill a freaking big, huge, beautiful ash tree in like a year, year and a half. And so typically, um, wooden baseball bats are made out of ash. And I think it's because there's, excuse me, there's a little bit more flexibility in the wood. So when you get a hit, it, it kind of, the, the bat actually kind of flexes and, and bends a little bit more where, you know, maple, I think is about as close as you can get to it, but it's not still not quite as, uh, as flexible. So it is a little bit more brittle, um, than, uh, than the ash, but the, the ash borer has been killing and killing and killing all of these ash trees all over the place. And, uh, so it's, you can still find ash bats out there. You can still find them for sure. Um, but for whatever reason, um, uh, on the Marucci site, they're only offering maple bats. So I think it's just difficulty. They must've just made a, a decision like, you know what, it's getting more and more difficult to find these ash trees, um, ash lumber to make, to make our ash bats. So they might've just said the heck with it and just completely switched over, over to maple. So that is a thing. So, um, just so you know, Marucci does not offer, I think, uh, you can find some Louisville and there was another, uh, bat company out there. I can't remember off the top of my head, um, that has ash out there, but not Marucci. So, uh, before we wrap this up though, I did just want to talk about, look at how clean the engraving is out here. They did a very, very nice job. There's no color spill. Every single, every single just edge of every single letter, you know, even in between the R and the A right there, it's perfectly clean. They really, really did a nice job on this. I, I couldn't be more impressed with, with the engraving and how it turned out right here and just how tight the colors are, even right there in the E, the little slats there. I mean, it's, Really, really, really nice. Oh, and another thing too, I almost forgot. Down here on the <clears throat> on the butt of it, you can get initials engraved, and that is in the same silver color. So the sticker and here you can choose the color that there it's kind of bled out a little bit, maybe, or it's not as silvery as what I thought, but that is a silver color in there to match here. But it's down here as well. You can kind of see the silver popping. And I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a born on date stamped in the top right there. So this one is November 17th, 2021. So I don't know. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this. I really, really hope that my boy just like, uh, if he pooped his pants <laughs> when he sees this thing, that that's the goal. Like I want him to be so excited he poops his pants. So, cause he's wanted a, a good wooden bat for probably two years now. And I've just been stubborn and haven't gotten him one. And I really, really think that this thing is just, it, they, they did an excellent job. Um, this bat as is, uh, with the colors that I chose and the engraving and the, um, the stamp in the butt and the coating that I have on here, uh, that pro X coating, that's 25 bucks. I think out the door, this thing was like 220 or 230 or something like that shipped. And, uh, they do have say that they have lead times of about two to three weeks. I got this from the day that I ordered it to my door and it was like just over a week and a half. It was less than two weeks. So I was really impressed. It was like super fast. So they are cranking them out. So, um, I guess I probably maybe should have put this up a little bit sooner for Christmas of 2021. Uh, cause I doubt you'd be able to get one. Well, actually there is an option that you can pay extra 
for, I can't remember what it was or how much it was, but there is an option that you can pay extra to get yourself at the front of the line and they'll send it out within a week. So I guess if you really wanted to, you might be able to spend a little extra coin and get one of these bad boys delivered to someone special in your life. So that's my uh, review of the uh, Marucci Custom Bat Maker, and I couldn't be happier. So thanks. Have a good rest of your day.